So I've always had the Cosmos Q's bird brine and it's always been good. If you guys uh, want to see videos with that, I have them right over here. But basically I've used them on turkey, I've used them on chicken, really good results. I, uh, I've never tried the um, meat church version, so let's go ahead and get to it. So we got the chicken right over here guys. This is a fresh, I can't really see what it says here. Fresh young chicken with giblets neck. Straight from HEB. Let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, now it did say that it had giblets or whatever on the inside, so we're gonna go ahead and put these two aside. We don't need them. It's up to you guys if you wanna use it for gravy, stock, whatever. I don't. All right, so now there's nothing on the in there's nothing on the inside, nothing like that. So now it's time to go ahead and start the brining process. Now for the brining. We got the bird bath right here from Meat Church, man. Now the instructions in here state that you need one cup of this stuff, a half a gallon of water. So it's what, like a two to one ratio. I got the half gallon right over here, ready to go. Mix it up really well. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, gents. So I did a triple seal on this thing, making sure that this thing is nice and sealed because we do not want any type of seepage coming out. That's the absolute last thing that we want. Now we're gonna put this chicken right inside of here. This is one of the great things about these bags, man. They're expandable just like this. So it's very, very, very convenient. So we're gonna put it this way. Now, let's go ahead and add our liquid. Now, here comes the hard part. Man, this stuff is, smells really good, bro. There we go. So because I'm an intellectual, I went ahead and I put this right over here because if you try and put it right over here on the counter, it's not going to be a good time. So you got to elevate it, make sure that you have enough of this stuff right over here, and then you'll be good to go. So now, here we are. Now you don't need to make a 100% removal of all air, just enough so that everything can be nice and covered up just like this, boys. Now after this, you can put it right over here, or you can do it like what I was going to go ahead and do regardless. And let's go ahead and put it this way, with the breast side down. That way, everything, you see how it has nice suction right in there? That way, every little piece can be absorbed. Now, in the, uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is leave it breast side down because that's where all the meat is gonna be. But in the morning, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over to the other side. I don't really think it needs it, but I'm still gonna do it anyways. Good practice. All right, guys, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, boys. So, 15 hours later, and this is what we got. So now let's go ahead and tear into this bag. Now, make sure that you have some container in here in case you get some spillage because, yeah, we don't want it anywhere else. There we go. Get this bird up out of here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to give this thing a really good rinse. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, as far as seasonings go, we're gonna hit it with some of this lemon pepper, but we're gonna do the back side first because that is not gonna be the presentation side. More than likely, it's, some of it is gonna wash off. Not too really worried about it. So. Now, it really depends on you guys, whether you like it lemon pepper heavy or not. I really enjoy this flavor a lot, so. We're gonna douse it quite a bit. Then, we're gonna hit it with some of this gospel. I think this combination is pretty good. But I don't wanna go overly salty, so I'm gonna only hit it just a dab. I think that's pretty good. Top side, same thing. Lemon pepper it up. 
right here on that wings. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Now, with some of this gospel right over here. I did not inject this time around. If you've seen my turkey videos, I always brine and inject, but not this time. All right, and that's about that's uh, about what it is. Now, as far as using this bad boy, we need to really make sure that everything stays nice and put. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get a little bit of the butcher's twine and do it that way. All right, boys, so got the chicken right over here. Now you guys can go ahead and see here, if you guys have the regular Komodo Joe Classic one, just like I do, that doesn't have a basket or a divider, no worries, all I did was this, man. See that? I only moved the charcoal this way. That's it. Nothing else, man, nothing magical. So let's go ahead and put this bird in, man. Now I gotta move this a little bit more towards this side. So let me go ahead and do that. I try and do this when the fire is still not raging hot. Right now it's only at 300 degrees on the dome. And it gives me more than enough time to go ahead and be able to mess with this. And there she is. Look at that boys. I gotta tell you man, since we've gotten this jotisserie, we've been using this a lot, a lot, a lot chicken i even have a basket that i'll show in, in another video and everything but this thing is pretty awesome all right so we're gonna leave it here 350 degrees and we'll check up on it within um the next 35 45 minutes or so we'll see you guys in a bit before anything else guys be sure to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button definitely appreciate it all right let's go all right boys so it's been about i don't know i want to say maybe about an hour or 15 minutes or so let's go ahead and check on the temperatures temperature inside has been 350 throughout this entire time so let's go ahead and check it out bro look at that color bro look at that color all right i'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here breast is at 168 all right guys let's go ahead and pull this thing out get you some of these gloves bro because you're definitely going to need it 100%. So now we're going to go ahead and let this thing rest for about, I want to say maybe about 25 minutes or so. I don't want to take the, the forks out just yet because if you do take them out right now, all the juices and everything is going to come out. Definitely don't want that. All right, so we'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, so now we have the chicken in here. It's been resting for quite a bit. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Got the pirate knife this time. Let's go ahead and get it. First, let's go ahead and remove this butcher twine, that one that we added in the beginning of this cook. You know, I never really was a fan of butcher twine, but you know, once you start using it, man, it's, it's one of those things where you're like, man, I'm glad I have it. Now it's time to check to see how juicy this thing is. Y'all ready, boys? Let's remove a thigh first. Bro, this thing is hella juicy, bro. Let me get this part out the way. There we go. All right, boys. Y'all ready? Oh, bro, look at that. And I went a little over on it too. I went around 167 or so. Still very, very nice. Let, let me chop this piece up right here. This is a very nice slice. Look at that, boys. Come on now. Come on now. Can't get any better than that. All right, let's go ahead and give it a little tasty taste. See that? Look at how juicy this thing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Bro, look at the thigh right over here, bro. Look at it. Let me get a bite. Mmm. Just glistening. Bro, I think this is better than the Cosmos Q. Not gonna lie. You know what? 
I'm going to have to give my honest opinion on this, man, because, yeah, let's go ahead and start with that. In all honesty, man, I honestly think that the Me Church one might be a little bit better than the Cosmos Q. And I don't see that in a negative way towards, towards Cosmos Q's. I've used them for years and I have several videos of them. No problem. The thing with the Me Church one is that it tastes a little bit more traditional what you would get on a backyard barbecue, you know, whole chicken or split chicken or something like that. It's a little bit more wholesome and I think you guys will, uh, will enjoy it quite a bit. So that's it for the, for the video guys. Be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Later guys.